Hi there, I just wanted to show you all an example of what boom cards look like in action. So if you're not familiar with boom cards, they are essentially um, digital interactive task cards. And they're really great because you don't need to prep anything or print anything out. On your computer, they can be accessed with a link. It just opens up in your browser and on a tablet, you can use the boom card app. And um, this is an example of a prefixes deck that I created. So this is for older students. So let's skip ahead to the next card here. Um, so this, they're just selecting the appropriate prefix. So in this case, select four, and if it's correct, it gives them a little ding and moves you forward. If you select the incorrect answer, um, it says whoops and crosses it out. So I'm not sure if you're hearing that audio because I have a headset in, but there is audio, which of course, if that's distracting to your students, you can mute that out or turn that off. Uh, let me just show you one other deck just to give you an idea of maybe some other object objectives that you could target with these boom cards. All right, so here's an example of another deck. This is for students who are working on listening for details. So this one says, when we go camping, we see in the dark with a, and then they would choose flashlight. When we go camping, we pitch a tent. So you get the idea. Um, I'm going to create another video that shows a little bit more in depth about setting up your classroom and um, accessing student data. I did want to mention that creating a boom card account is completely free. I think that covers data for up to five students. Um, and I'm going to open this tab here just to show you all that um, accounts are free. If you want to do the basic level, which would cover um, data tracking for up to 80 students, then that is only $9 per year. So it's very, very affordable. I mean, $9 a year is not much at all. If you had more than 80 students, you could bump up to the next level. And if you wanted to create your own materials and sell them, then it would be $25 a year. But I would imagine that the free and the basic level is going to be adequate for most SLPs. Um, if you have any questions for me about this, feel free to email me. It's jessica at thespeechspace.com. And um, you might be wondering how you get Boom cards. So you, one way is that you can get them on the Boom site. Another way is that you can access them or purchase them rather from the Teachers Pay Teachers site. There's many sellers on there that sell them. And if you are a digital SLP member, I actually include all the Boom cards that I create as part of your membership. So at no additional cost. Um, and if you're not sure what the digital SLP membership is, you can go to the speechspace.com forward slash digital SLP, and that will give you a nice overview of what that is. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And um, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial on how to get your classroom set up, set up and uh, talk a little bit about tracking student data.